Good morning. I would like to welcome viewers to our time of worship for the parish of Avon Valley on this, the fifth Sunday of Easter, the 28th of April, 2024. I am the vine, and you are the branches, says the Lord. Those who abide in me, and I in them, bear much fruit. And let us pray. Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, is the way, the truth, and the life. Give us grace to love one another and walk in the way of his commandments, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This morning's Gospel lesson is taken from the 15th chapter of the Gospel according to St. John, beginning of the first verse. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, Ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. Here ends the reading of this morning's Gospel. The Abba Valley, for which the parish is named, is the gateway to the Annapolis Valley, one of the principal agricultural regions of Canada. In this rich farmland, we have numerous vineyards and orchards. When Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches, the message resonates. People here know a thing or two about vines and branches, trees and fruit. The grafting of apple trees may serve as a useful example. When a branch is attached to another, it not only receives nourishment, but also acquires the flavor of both trees. In the same way, when we as branches are grafted onto Christ, the true vine, we receive spiritual nourishment and take on the very essence of our Lord. A branch separated from the vine becomes a dead stick, devoid of life and purpose. Our attachment to Christ is not merely a matter of sustenance, it is a matter of life and death. Apart from him, we are nothing. Just as a branch that remains connected to the vine bears fruit, so too are we called to bear fruit in our lives. Not just any fruit, tasty fruit, fruit that reflects the flavor of Christ himself. Our lives are to be a testament to the love, grace, and mercy of our Lord, leaving others hungry and thirsty for the goodness of God that they see in us. God the Father is the vine grower. He prunes. It is he who lovingly tends to us cutting away that which is dead, diseased, or unfruitful in our lives. This process of pruning is not always easy or pleasant, but it is necessary for our spiritual growth and vitality. A healthy church is a repenting church. A healthy church is a pardoning church. 
that which is unhealthy and deadening is trimmed away. The main thing is for us to remain firmly attached to the vine, abiding in Christ, feeding on him, and allowing his life-giving presence to flow through us. Our job is to bear fruit, tasty fruit, reflecting the flavor of our Lord to a world in need. And spiritual growth comes through being pruned by our Heavenly Father. God knows what is best for us, and it is through His grace that we become more fully the people He has called us to be. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. O God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single piece. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our wrathes and sorrows. And give peace to your church, peace among nations, peace in our homes, and peace in our hearts. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And gathering all our prayers together, let us pray as Christ himself taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Christ who walks on wounded feet walk with you on the road. May the Christ who serves with wounded hands stretch out your hands to serve. May the Christ who loves with a wounded heart open your hearts to love. And may you see the face of Christ in everyone you meet. And may everyone you meet See the face of Christ in you. Amen.